Hi, uh, my name is Guy uh, Ben Yosef. This is a joint work with Lehav uh, Asif, Daniel Arari, and Shimon Ulman. So uh, uh, in this work, we are trying to uh, solve the challenging task of uh, modeling human interpretation for object images. Why is it challenging? Because humans can identify uh, dozens or even hundreds of uh, semantic parts uh, in typical object images that can appear in many uh, possible uh, configurations. So how do we do it? <coughs> we divide the task of uh, uh, full interp of interpretation of the complete object image to multiple uh, tasks of interpretations of uh, small local regions that are still interpretable for human observers. In such small local regions, the number of semantic components is uh, low, and the, possibility and the variability of possible configurations is significantly reduced compared to the full object image. But we should uh, take care not to uh, uh, not to work with two small images where humans cannot recognize the object and cannot make interpretation at all. So exactly how uh, small these regions should be? Uh, the approach we take is to uh, model interpretation for minimal configurations, such that further reduction would turn them un unrecognizable and uninterpretable. For such minimal configurations, we, uh, we, we, we examine what are the semantic components that humans can recognize in them. And we uh, represent them as points, contours, and regions. We annotate these uh, components for several examples of the same minimal image, and we uh, uh, use these annotations for learning. When trying to uh, interpret a new image, our scheme uh, searches uh, for uh, uh, combinations of points, contours, and regions, and finally uh, selects the uh, combination that uh, uh, is most compatible with a set of learned relations from annotations. But what are the exactly the relations that should be used for the matching? Well, we can start by using only naive relations like proximity and displacement, but this would not work. At the level of minimal configurations, uh, we have two valuable sources for uh, more complex relations. The first source is uh, to look at minimal versus sub-minimal configurations and to see what are the relations that exist in the minimal uh, configurations but not in the sub-minimal ones. Another source is to, use, uh, is to look at uh, uh, non-class uh, patterns that are confusable for naive interpretation. And then uh, 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 to see again what are the relations that exist in the uh, class examples but not in the non-class. Here are some of our uh, results. One implication uh, for this work is for validation. Uh, 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 a feedforward uh, 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 image patches can be detected in a feedforward fashion and then validated as the true uh, 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 class instances by a top-down detailed interpretation.